Hello everyone, welcome to this third part of the course. We were patiently placing the rocks. Mind that this part won't be much noticed, so here each of you are free to do whatever you want. And remember that you're only required to do one rock. So if you want to do more, you can do so, but it's not necessary. With just one copy, it's enough. Okay, great. We've placed the rocks so we can go on with the modeling. The next item on our list is to try and make this cactus have a more convex shape in the center. We can do this many ways too, and one of those is using this deformer here, bulge. Using this tool, we'll lift this square to the center part, and this is the influence area of the bulge deformer. In this case, with bulge, we'll be able to inflate the, the center of the cactus. For this, we select the bulge deformer, and we start naming things. And we'll place the bulge deformer inside the cactus. Now, as you see, in strength, when we raise it or lower it, we change the shape of this cactus. Take a look. Obviously, if we change the position of the cube, we modify the shape. This is important to leave like this because if we want to change the shape of the cactus later or make the base be more convex, we can change it. So for now, we'll leave it here and like this. If we click here, we disable the effect. And if we double click here, we hide the cube guide. But the effect is still being applied. Okay, so we're going to do now a cube like this, a bit narrow, and this will be some kind of arms for the cactus. We set the segments, in this case two for both segments X and Y, and one for segment Z. We made the object editable, and now we'll manage these points here. Holding Shift, we can add points to the selection, and now pressing T, we'll slightly scale this part so it looks like this. With this part, we can do the same, though maybe before we need another cut. So to make another cut, we can make a cut using this or switch to Edge Edition, select Ring Selection, right click and connect points. Let's select these points here, stretch it a bit. Now to select the ones in the middle and we make this smaller like this. We can now place the cube inside a subdivision surface. Remember while selecting the cube and holding Alt, we can create the hierarchy. And just lower the subdivision level. This could go here and the other one lower. Also, remember that we can change all of these. We can place the cactus inside a subdivision surface, and we can decide later if we want to leave it here or if there's too many polygons, if we lower the subdivision level, okay? So for now, we can leave it like this. Deactivate it. There it is, because we're not interested in activating it, okay? Well, now we'll duplicate the arm and we'll place it around here to see how it looks. Remember what I said before about duplicating things now? Because that's something we'll have to do again later. Because we'll get one of those elements and extract the UV maps and then we'll duplicate that element. 
We're doing this now just to see how the scene is taking shape, okay? But later we'll just take one of the arms and we'll do the process, okay? Now we'll do the spikes, which will be on the side of the cactus. In order to make them, we'll start from just a polygon, which we'll make editable. Grab these points and make them closer using a scale. And now, using the weld tool, we join them. Now select these two here, scale these down, and stretch these out. There it is. Now we'll just duplicate this polygon we just created about three, four, five times in order to create the little tips, the spikes, okay? All right, so we click Enable Axis and move this arrow here. This way we'll be able to rotate it from this point. So if we now duplicate this polygon, Control c Control v now from here, first disabling Enable Axis, and from any point now we can rotate it on this axis. Let's put this one like this. There it is. We duplicate the original again. We turn it the other way. Lower it a bit there. And now we select these three we created. Copy and paste and duplicate them again. And now we can rotate each of them individually so it looks different. This one here, like this. We can even duplicate one more time, the original one, the one in the middle. It has to look kind of like this. Now we select all these. We can use Shift in order to select them easier. Right click and select Connect Objects and Delete. With this, we connect all the spikes in one object and delete all the copies. Now, this will be what we'll start placing on the cactus model. So just remember what I told you before, you don't need to do this step, we're just doing it in order to see how the scene looks like. With just doing one spike and placing it, we'll work on that one later and we'll get all the textures, okay? And then we will duplicate. Okay, we have all the spikes placed now and we even placed all the spikes inside a group so everything is organized. We can start naming the elements if we see it necessary. Okay, the next step is creating a flower on top which will be the last thing we do in order to finish this cactus, okay? We'll create a plane for this. We'll rotate it for a moment. If you hold shift, it rotates 10 steps at a time, like this. We can lift this up here. Well, we'll leave it down here for now. We'll set a band modifier and we'll place it inside this plane. There it is. Now from here, we could just set a strength to see how this plane we created deforms. For example, 115. Let's get into the Planes Object panel. Let's lower the segments. Since we haven't made this object editable, we can still manage the segments. Let's set it to about 10. Okay, well, about 5, all right? We'll set it to 5 and 1, all right? Now we can make this editable. Right-click, Current State to Object. Okay, delete this and we'll stick with the plane we have here. All right, good. Now we'll select the points of this plane and by hand, we'll make the shape of the leaf. Okay, just like this. These ones gradually wider, see? More or less. And finally, these ones here.
This would be enough. We can try to place it inside a subdivision surface object. Lower the subdivision levels and leave them both at one. With this, we'll have the shape of the leaf. Right click here, now, and current state to object. And we have finished our leaf. We're going to scale it down now. And we'll place it in the correct orientation, which would be like this. Well, now we would simply grab the leaf, click MoGraph, and Cloner. We place the leaf in here, and now we can start working with it. Let's select the Cloner object, and in the Attribute Manager, in the Object tab, we can modify the mode. We have different modes, but we'll set it to Radial. Let's slide this out. And here we can start modifying parameters like the distance between the leaves or the number of leaves. Let's rotate these 90 degrees. Now again, select the cloner object and in the coordinates tab, we can also modify these parameters. And if we select transformation, we can modify the orientation of the leaves. See? Let's set these to minus 90. So now we just go to object and place them closer. And with this, we'd have the leaf space of the flower. Now we can duplicate these and make one of the petals smaller. And now we select the cloner and in the object tab, we'll lower the value in order to get these petals closer and we raise the number of copies. This way we get directly the flower and the leaves. And we can of course modify also these petals in the center from the original model. For example, stretching it, widening it, with no hassle. Remember that in transformation, we can manage this perfectly. See, like this. Good. When we have decided the shape we want, we can simply take this element, for example, right click, and as always, current state to object in order to put it all together. Okay, we see that it created a group with each single petal, so we use the shift key to select them all, right click and connect objects and delete. So with this, we already have the first flower. We can take this out and we can do the same with this one. If we like the shape or we like how it looks, we do the same. In this case, I'll add one more leaf. And now we can modify this without any hassle. Okay, we'll group all these so it's all together. And we'll set the center axis around here. And check enable axis, and now we can place it on top. We can also modify these even more. If we select one of these options here, in this case, for example, we can choose this verify the former tool. As you see, we have a wide range of options, okay? Good, we select everything and we transform it into an only object with the usual procedure. Okay, we have the flowers, we have the cactus all done, all right?
you know that we can now activate, for example, subdivision surface. For now, we'll leave it like this. We won't be doing much more. And let's switch to standard, okay? This color here is not important. It's just the white color that comes by default when we use corner on an object. But as I was saying, it's done. We can place the flowers in an old object and minding that the axis is in the middle, we finish scaling down the flower. And we place them here, for example. We could duplicate these, obviously. And place some other a bit lower or in another position at your discretion. All right? This would finish the modeling of the cactus. So we'll leave this part of the course here. And next, we'll continue with the rest of the elements. So see you in a bit.